Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Marlene. I work during the day and I'm an artist by night. I wanted to bring you guys along and show you what a realistic week in my life looks like and attempt to show you how I try to balance work and art. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, we don't need anything. Mm -mm, Only Kevin's shoe boxes. boxes. We're not gonna look around. Yeah, guys, we're not gonna. Oh, you're recording. <laughs> yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> we're only here for Kevin's birthday gift.
What do we got? Some shrimp tempura and ghee yoza. And got the squad all some drinks. Business day. Today is a business day. Business day? Work day? A business work day. Today we're gonna be productive. It's almost one o'clock. <laughs> and we just got up. I have Mondays off from my day job, and so they have turned into my art work days. Typically on this day, I'll pack and ship out orders, I'll edit a YouTube video, film TikToks, reels, um, restock any stickers or prints, I'll paint, yeah, pretty much anything art related. Things that I can't do after I'm off work, I try to squeeze it into this day, and because of that, Mondays tend to be one of my longer work days. So I started off my day by testing out different papers for my art prints. I've been using this Epson paper for most of my prints and I love the texture on it, but I've been wanting to try other brands and check out their quality and, you know, just try to find the best materials for my prints. But yeah, I really like how these ones turned out. The paper is really thick and I feel like the colors look really juicy and really good. Um, looks really similar to how it does digitally, which is something I struggle when I'm making prints. I can't always match the colors 100%, but I feel like this paper did a pretty good job. And yeah, I plan to have these two prints in a future shop update whenever that happens. Um, I know it's been a while since my last one, but I'm working on it. Surprisingly, I had quite a few orders to pack on this day. If I'm being honest, I typically get like one or two orders max within a week. Most weeks, I'll have zero orders to pack. Um, I'm just terrible at promoting my stuff and my shop. Um, whenever I'm on Instagram, I'll just post my art, but I won't be like, hey, go check out my shop. I don't know. I just It makes me feel weird and I, it's something I need to work on. I feel like I have TikTok to thank for all these orders only because I've actually been posting there quite frequently compared to Instagram. Um, I was having issues with like the algorithm and stuff like that and I don't know. I was just really not motivated to post on there as frequently anymore and so I decided to just take a break and step back. And because of that, I've been more into TikTok these days. I've actually like taken the time to figure out how to use all the different features because I've had a TikTok for quite some time now, but I just hardly use it. If I ever did use it, I would just repost content that I already uploaded on Instagram. But yeah, I never really bothered to like look at how to really use it or I wouldn't even like use it as entertainment either. But I've actually feel like I've fallen in love with the app and it's been really fun. It doesn't feel like work when I'm posting and it's just different from Instagram. I feel like I could post like 20 different videos in one day and I don't feel like I'm spamming people. But if I post like more than twice within one day on Instagram, I feel like people are going to get sick of my stuff really quick. Um, it's just a different vibe and I just like TikTok at the moment and... Um, I feel like I don't have to pump out new content every single day just to keep up. I could just reuse old stuff because not everyone sees your posts on there. And I like that about it. You could just reuse content and no one's going to tell you like, hey, I've seen this already. It also helps that my following isn't really big on TikTok. My friends or family don't really follow me on that app, which makes me less nervous when I try to put myself out there like for voiceovers or trying to record my face um, versus Instagram I always overthink everything and I feel like people are gonna be judging me if like I share more personal things so I just don't shout out to TikTok thank you guys so much for my orders this week I really appreciate it
On this day, I actually ended up packing up my last bubble tea enamel pin, which was super exciting. If you've watched my previous vlogs, you'll know that I launched this enamel pin collection back in October of last year, of 2021. Um, I remember being so excited for this collection. It was like my first official enamel pin collection. And um, I thought it was going to do better than it did. Um, so unfortunately, they didn't sell as well as I thought they would. And what, it's been like over six months now. And I finally sold out of my first design, so I'm super excited. Um, I mean, to be honest, at first I was pretty bummed out thinking like, oh, is my art even good enough to sell? Like, I wasted all this money. Should I even be designing new products for another shop update? Um, but yeah, your typical like imposter syndrome, self-doubt stuff going on. But luckily, I got past that. Um, I continue to make art. I continue to design new stuff and I did not let that hold me back. I currently have like three new designs in the process of getting made. They've already been sent out to the manufacturer. There's just been a couple of delays. Um, so I'm just waiting on that before I can finally decide when to have a shop update. But yeah, I've already designed the backing cards. They each have their own customized backing card, which I can't wait to show you guys. Um, but yeah, this is just a reminder for anyone going through the same thing as me. Like, it's okay if your stuff didn't sell out within the week, a month, a couple months. Like, it's okay. It's not a reflection of our skill, um, our artwork. Um, it just means that we probably didn't promote it as well as we thought we did. And even though it's a couple months old, like, we should still be promoting our stuff. And don't feel like you're spamming people. Um, I feel like tiktok is a good platform for that i mean look at me it took me six months to get on there to finally go and promote my enamel pins and i finally sold out of a design so just give it some time eventually you will reach the right people who are gonna fall in love with your art Here, I'm stamping this envelope that I forgot to stamp. I'm using my custom stamps that I got made by my sister. She goes by Kimchi Stamps on Instagram, so if you're looking for any cute stamps, you should definitely check out her shop. But yeah, she only does customs every now and then, and I got lucky enough uh, to get three made by her, so I was so happy. I love these so much, and yeah, I've had them for like over a year now and they're still my favorite i always forget to put a mat underneath whenever i'm stamping i end up getting ink all over the place but i try to clean it really quickly that way it doesn't stain my desk i got these coffee stamps from the post office a couple of months back and they're just so cute i low-key wanted to keep them forever it's almost 5 p.m. and I'm pretty much done with all the order packing and printmaking so I can clean everything all up. Because I pretty much use my desk for everything that I do, work, art, paint, film, edit, I try to be as organized and clean as possible. And so I just try to clean up anytime I'm done with a certain task. And that way I have a clean desk. <laughs>
Chatting in a coffee shop, sitting by the windowsill, walking down Eighth Avenue with you. Our fingers touching the light, you pull back, blush and delight. Call me when you get back home. Meet me at Manhattan Hench. Meet me at Columbia Circle. in your eyes merry go rounds in my heart illuminated by flashing signs you take my hand and you pull me inside when did everyone else disappear meet me at Manhattan Hench meet me under Columbus Circle I'll be waiting there for you So it's currently noon and I have a one hour lunch break, which means I get to shower. Um, yeah, one of the perks of being able to work from home is just being able to shower on your break. I don't take an hour to eat, so this is a better use of my time and that way I don't have to do it later when I'm off work. But yeah, I've been on my pajamas all day. As you can see, I did not change. I woke up 10 minutes before I had a clock in for work barely enough time to like wash my face and brush my teeth and uh yeah so i'm finally gonna change and put fresh clothes on but yeah i will catch you guys later bye
Hey guys, um, no one's home right now, so I'm gonna attempt to vlog. I get kind of nervous still, um, which is why you hardly see me record myself or talking to the camera. I'm working on it, um, but yeah, I'm still stuck at work. I will be working for another 30 minutes or so. Hopefully by then I'm off. I thought I would be off on time today, but of course I wasn't. So um, yeah, I have nothing really planned for Wednesday. Usually I take it chill. Um, since I did paint a lot yesterday, I don't plan to do anything art related today. Um, but yeah, if I do do anything exciting, I'll try to record. But other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Also Kevin's birthday. So we're getting Starbucks. I pay so Kim gets out and picks it up. The perks of being an older sibling. <laughs> birthday cake pop for your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Why are you doing that? He always says, happy birthday cake pop. And then he squishes it. 32? voiceover me is back today's saturday and it's pretty much the end of my week i don't work on saturdays so saturdays tend to be like my painting days slash relaxing days it just depends what's going on that day um, if i'm hanging out with friends or going somewhere but for the most part i try to paint in the mornings and make use of the sunlight and um yeah, I was feeling really inspired this day that I finally attempted to paint one of the scenes from my favorite movie that I have been wanting to paint for the longest time. Uh, if you guys recognize this, this scene is from Spirited Away. And yeah, for the longest time I've been wanting to paint this scene because I just love the colors, but it always intimidated me. And for that reason, I did not want to start it because I did not want to fail and be disappointed but for some reason this day I felt like I could do it and so I was like okay I'm just gonna try it out no pressure I'm not gonna film it for Instagram or TikTok I'm just gonna try my best and yeah because I was in that mindset of like painting for myself and just being in the moment i felt like i really enjoyed the process and i had so much fun don't worry i'll be sure to show you guys the finished paintings towards the end of the video 
I just want to remind you guys that not every week looks like this for me. I don't always have a ton of orders to pack every Monday. For the most part, I'll have like one max, but usually I don't have anything um, coming in and I'll instead fill my days recording some content for future reels or TikToks and stuff like that. Um, after work, I don't always have the energy to do anything creative. As you saw for this week, I, I think I only worked one of those days um, after work. I made one painting, but that was that was all the energy I had that week. Um, but yeah, I'm not always inspired to paint. I don't always pump out a ton of paintings a week. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day, what's going on in my life, and yeah. I was in a really good place this week mentally, and I feel like part of it had to do because I took a break from Instagram. Um, towards the end of March, I told myself that I would take it slow and not be as active on Instagram in April and, you know, just take a step back because um, the month prior in March, I was actually posting every single day um, for 30 days and I did that because I was offered their real bonus, which pretty much means that I'll get paid for posting reels and it all just depends on how many views I acquire within the 30 days and so yeah I was like okay I'm gonna try this out and see if it's even worth posting 30 days um, will I make more money turns out it didn't really do much for me I didn't really see a change in growth or anything like that um, I did make 20 more dollars but compared to all the work I was putting in to post a reel every single day, I don't think the $20 was even worth my time. But yeah, and so because my engagement didn't change, it was still low as usual. And I started going down that rabbit hole again where I started questioning myself and whether uh, if art should be something I try to pursue full time or if I should be putting my time and energy into something else. Um, yeah, you know, the usual cycle that all artists go through. So because of this whole incident, I told myself that I would take April slow and just try not to post and try to keep myself from posting, even though sometimes I just really want to share with everyone what I'm up to. But I knew that I needed this break and um, it would help me and my art journey. So yeah, I've been taking it slow and I feel because of this break, I've actually been really inspired to create more. And since I knew I wasn't going to be posting, I felt less pressure. I was more relaxed and I was just in a mindset where I was creating art for myself and not just to post to get likes and attention from people. And so yeah, I felt like that really helped me a lot. And because of that, I was inspired this week and I actually pumped out four paintings two of them i feel like they're like my best works that i've done so far in my art journey and yeah i'm just really happy and i'm really glad that i did this for myself i took the time to take a break because i honestly really needed it and yeah so if you guys are going through the same thing just know that it's okay to take a break social media will always be there like the engagement on those platforms is already terrible so like what's a week off gonna do like it, it's already bad like can it get worse maybe i don't know we'll see when i start posting again but put yourself first put your art first and yeah if you can take a break take a break um i'm a part-time artist um so i don't make my living off of art it's something that i would like to do in the future but for now i at least have a job that can still pay my bills and will allow me to take a break from art. I know if I were a full-time artist, it may not be as easy to take a break from social media only because it's part of the job. You constantly have to be promoting yourself, showing your art, letting people know like, hey, I'm here, here's my shop, go support me. But for now, I have something to fall back on so I don't have to put so much pressure on my art to perform well. Um, but yeah, so if you're in a place where you can take a break, even if it's just a couple of days, just do it. You deserve it and it's just going to make your life and art journey a lot better.
if you guys made it this far i just want to say thanks so much for sitting here and giving me 30 minutes of your time i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's the first time i attempt to record a week in my life hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh, let me know what you guys think if you guys want to see more videos like this or more silent vlogs uh, i'm open to suggestions so just let me know what you guys want don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't yet and i will catch you guys in the next one bye